Now we are going to talk about the anatomy of the nose. You can see the nose here. Here is the nasal bone. And here is the nasal cavity. You can see some bony structures surrounding the nasal cavity. Superiorly, we have the frontal bone, the ethmoid bone, and here is the sphenoid bone. And on the inferior aspect, the hard palate and the soft palate. Now within the nasal cavity, there are a number of folds, and these are known as the superior, the middle, and the inferior conchi, or turbinates. And between them run some grooves. And the grooves are known as the meatus. Now in each meatus, there are tracts draining from the sinuses. And you can see these air-filled cavities, which are the sinuses. This is the frontal sinus, and this is the sphenoid sinus. Most of the sinuses drain into the meatus just below the middle conchi. The sinuses produce moisture and mucus, which drain down into the nasal cavity and essentially gives us a snotty nose. The nasal cavity is lined by a mucous membrane, which is moist and very vascular. Apart from this part of the nose, which is called the vestibule, which is lined by skin and hairs. There are a number of ducts which drain into the nose. Below the inferior meatus, we have the nasolacrimal duct, which joins the nose to the eye. And that's why when you cry, your nose runs. A little further posteriorly is the opening of the auditory or eustachian tube. And that's a tube that joins the nasopharynx to the middle ear and helps to equalize pressures. This is the inferior meatus. And it's quite nice to see that when you insert anything into the nose, such as a scope or a tube, you can see that you need to insert it in a horizontal orientation, rather than pointing it up into the nose. You can also see how in a base of skull fracture, it's contraindicated to put anything in the nose, because believe it or not, tubes have ended up passing through a fracture into the brain.